Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, I remember one person saying to me, one of the shows, said, oh, my goodness, how much they love our area. They do come up here. And when they come up here, they find things a little different than they find in other areas. I'll tell you, my reactions to traveling to all these places and talking to people about our area, and I'm very, very observant. I have to be, or we won't be successful. We're always trying to improve our delivery, our presentation, so that more people might find it interesting and want to come up to our area. But what people, what this one person said is he said, it's God's country. It really is until it gets cold. And that's kind of the perception that people have all over our country. They come up here and they they come up here in the summer to our tournaments and they say, Oh my gosh, we had no idea it was so nice up here. We had no idea the people were so friendly up here. And all that's great. But and this is the big capital letters with exclamation points, but we can't imagine coming up here and enduring the frozen winters. Well, I remember back when I just got out of the Navy and I went to, I started in college at Potsdam State. And I remember my folks lived in North Lawrence and I loved the area. But I remember 40 below zero days, not every day, but every year there were a period of time when the temperature got down to 40 below and the battery in our car burst open just from the cold and just all those things that seem almost unimaginable. And they kind of are now because as the years have gone on, the winters have got milder and milder and milder. And now look at right now, we're in an early spring because the winter, it was not severe. And and so the North Country, I think, has become even more marketable as God's country. I want to tell you one of the things that I noticed going to these other cities, and each one is unique and each one is different. But I will tell you, and I'm, I'm, I'm speaking now from the bottom of my heart, if, that, if such a phrase is accurate, but I, the one thing I really notice is the farther I get away from home, and home is the North Country, the farther I get away, no matter which direction I go, the farther I get away from the North Country, the less friendly the people are. And it's, and it's a reflection of the way life is every day in these other areas. We were up in New Hampshire, and, and people that lived, that grew up here, that had moved there, because I had several people that came to us and said, oh, I grew up in Messina, or I grew up in Ogdensburg, or whatever. The one thing when I asked them the difference is they said, it seems so much more friendly up there. Our life is so much faster here. And and now we're talking about New Hampshire, where you don't think the life is, is that much faster. They said it's so much faster. And it affects it affects your temperament, it affects the way you are, it it affects how you present yourself to others. And boy do I see the difference. We just spent several days in the Utica area. And I know probably some of you listening are from that area or whatever. And that there's all kinds of fishing opportunities there. But the one thing that we noticed, the people that ran the motels weren't as friendly. The restaurants weren't as friendly. We weren't greeted with the same open smiles. And I know you folks think that I'm probably going on about this, but I'm not. The people in our area, us, you and me, we are friendlier by nature because of the area that we live in, because of the, the history of the people that live here. We have a certain way about us, and, and I know we take it for granted. It's just that's a natural thing that people do. But we really have something special here, and I see it, and I hear it. I see it because of my observations when I go to these other places, and it's not the same. And I hear it when I talk to people that have come up to our area, whether they grew up here or whether they've come here because of something that we've presented that's made them want to come up and visit our area, they say, almost everyone, that they are, they are taken back by the friendliness, the openness, and the lifestyle. It's more relaxing. Maybe it's more relaxing because we don't have the same economic opportunities. I don't know. But we do have something special. And 
I talk about fishing. I'm on the radio here to talk to you about fishing. But I still think that it's important that we realize that fishing is only a part of what makes our area special. It is the one part that I feel can draw people here. But when we draw them here, we want them to discover what we are. Because if they discover that, they'll want to keep coming back. We need to provide them with the one thing that we have. That friendliness goes a long ways. But it's important that we continue to try to build our infrastructure to be able to accommodate and increase in demand of people coming to enjoy our area. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.